guys, it's me, Alana. So today I am showing you how to do this balloon garland, balloon arch, whatever you want to call it. Um, you guys have all requested this for me so many, I can't even tell you how many people have asked me to do a tutorial, to save it on my Instagram story. So I am just filming it for you guys um, because I think that you guys are asking me because you know I'm not a professional and you're thinking if I can do it, you guys can do it, which is totally true because it is so easy. The first time I did it, um, I kind of gave myself time. I blew all the balloons up the night before and then I pieced everything and strung everything together the next day. Now I can blow up the balloons start to finish in maybe about 45 minutes and piece them together. So this is a really easy project that you guys, if you guys ever want to add it to your, you know, holiday parties or your kids' birthday parties, this is perfect. So there's just a couple things that you guys are going to need and I will link everything below. You're going to need this electric balloon pump. This will save your life. You can blow up so many balloons in a matter of minutes. You want to get some tape because you wrap around your finger. You don't get blisters. You guys can also get a um, tool that helps you tie the balloon. But honestly, I bought it and I did not know how to use it. It took me so much longer to do that than just tie it regularly. Next, you're going to need a fishing wire, fishing string, whatever you want to call it. This you can get from Amazon for pretty cheap too. And last but not least, you are going to need um, plastic needles. Also, you want to pick your balloon colors. Today is Easter, so I am doing pastels and balloon tape. This is crucial. These are little sticky dots to stick the balloons together. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. All right, first I'm gonna take this tape, if I can get it to work, and I wrap it around my fingers like that. And the reason why you wanna do this is because it is going to protect your fingers. Now imagine you're tying up maybe 100 balloons right here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be tying these balloons up, 100 of them. So no need to film, I guess. So I'm just gonna blow them up, different sizes. I will show here a couple on the close-up camera to the different sizes I'm gonna do, show you how I tie it, and then I will show you how I piece them together. You wanna blow them up different sizes too. Like, so if all of these are the same size, you can get different size balloons, but if all of these are the same size, I think these are like nine inch or 12 inches, I wanna blow them up fully and then half size. You guys can see this, but this little blue knob right here, all you need to do, it looks like it's off, but all you need to do is push it down. And this balloon, you put it right on top, you hold it securely and you blow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how I tie the balloon. I wrap it around my finger, I tuck it under, and I just pull it all the way through. Now you can see why you need that tape on your fingers, because you're going to be doing this over and over and over for about 100 balloons. Okay, so I'm literally just throwing it here on the floor. There's no better place for this many balloons. You have to just like place them there. But you can see that some are big and some are small and yes, this is where we're at right now. Okay, so I just finished blowing up over 100 balloons. What you wanna do is grab your fishing wire. Then you just wanna tie the end of the fishing wire onto the needle. So this is a plastic needle and it's not gonna hurt you, but it will pierce through the bottom of the balloon latex really easily. So I knotted about three times, so make sure it's secure. See that? What you wanna do is grab the needle and you're just going to poke it through. Okay, so I do not cut the end of the wire yet. I just keep going through because this is the way that I do it. I know a lot of people will just do sections at a time but I like my balloon arch to kind of just like fall and flow. Um, and then I just fill in the holes after that. So again, you just keep going. You let this go in case you need more and then you tie both ends at the very end of the balloon arch. So I just pull this through quite a bit and I just keep going. I get different colors because I don't like 
Unless you want to color coordinate your balloons, that's fine. But I like to mix mine up. I like it to be a bunch of different colors all at once. So I just go in and then you want to make sure that you get different size balloons as well. That will make the balloon arch look perfect. So see how I'm just like pulling it through? I'm gonna do that for quite a while because it's the very beginning. And it's just like sewing. Just sew all the way through. Just pull it. So you see right here, I have different colors and it's starting to form some shape. Right, and then I kind of just look and see what color do I need next, okay? So I have these, maybe I need a green and a yellow. I know, this doesn't look green, but it's a very, very light minty green. So now you can see some shape of this balloon arch. Um, different colors that I have going on right here. I just kind of just keep going and I don't put two of the same colors right next to each other because at the end I will paste them and see if there's any holes missing in the balloon arch or in the balloon garland, I guess you can say. But you wanna make sure that your fishing wire doesn't get tangled or your balloons don't move and get tangled like this. It's kinda of tangled right now because you're going to always want to be able to pull the um, fishing wire all the way through, through all the balloons. So. If it starts to get tangled, you better untangle that right away. Pull them through and I'll bunch them together. Okay, so I just finished stringing all of the balloons. You guys wanna leave about 20 out so you can piece them together and tape them onto the garland. Like I said, I don't like doing them in sections. I like to just do one long fishing wire because I like it to hang. Another tip that you guys want to do is when you're stringing it on, make sure that you're pushing it all the way through so it can be bunched up and tight. You see that? So you just take it on the very last one right here and I just sew it through one more time. And I make a knot at the very end. See? Okay, so this wall is not where I'm gonna be hanging my balloon arch today, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put it up there so that way you guys can see how I hang it up and place um, the sticky balloon tape. So again, you wanna take this side, some tape, or if you have a pole, like a little backdrop, it's better to tie it on there. But since it's not gonna be on there long, I'm just gonna put some tape. Okay, so you know how we said that I like my fishing wire super long and I don't like to do it in sections? This is exactly why, because it just drapes and I think this look is so much prettier. And then what I do is, so if I want this section a little bit thicker, I add balloons like this. Okay, so now what you wanna do is take the sticky tape and paste it just anywhere on the balloon. Okay, so what you want to do, you see how these are, see those circles? Those are, that's like balloon tape, okay? So what you want to do is take a circle, put it on the balloon, it should come off. There we go. So that right there, I don't know if you can see it, but it got onto the balloon. I want to stick it on to the wall or onto one balloon. So pretty much you are just shaping the balloon arch. So I am just gonna keep doing that. This is where you wanna fill in the balloon garland however you want it to flow. So at the top right here, I like it to be a little bit thicker and then flow into a thinner strand. So this is why I am just adding more balloons at the end. And if you can see, you don't ever want the end of the balloon to be sticking out. So I will be changing that in a second, you will see. All right guys, so that concludes my balloon arch garland video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to do any other crafts 
or anything that you guys have seen me do on my Instagram story that I would love to share it and film with you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.